good morning. Today we are going to be hanging out in Point Pleasant Beach. We're going to check out some of the local shops around here, some of the antique shops that they have, and maybe even go visit the boardwalk and take a walk down by the beach. And they have an aquarium there, so maybe I'll check that out today too, but we'll see. So as I'm walking down to the first antique shop, there's a nice little photo op for everybody. Neat little carousel or statue. Let's see, how much is this? $2.95. Oh, and over here, it looks like we have two of the old, like, Mickey phones. This one is $69. And then we have the other one that's over here, and this one is $89. Kind of like the one that's for $89 better, to be honest. Here's another... Vintage Mickey phone. And then we have some old little Donald, I guess, almost knickknack statues kind of thing. There's a little Disney puzzle back here. A bunch of little iron metal Mickeys. For fifteen ninety nine each. A Pocahontas little knickknack for twenty bucks. It's an old Donald, his nephew's little Pepsi cup, and this is sixteen bucks. And they have some other like old McDonald's cups. Porky Pig, Taz. Up here we have a Donald statue and a Pinocchio statue. A neat little Mickey and Minnie picture for the wall. And this is only $35. And then down here we have a little plush toys, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy. The mug of Mickey. It has an all star cast on the inside, it has some stars in there. And on the back, it has Mickey, Goofy, and Donald. And this is seven bucks. And they have a little Starbucks one back there. Little chip toy. Happy birthday, Mickey, holding a balloon. Oh, look, there's a Pluto hat from the parks. Let's see, what else do they have? Miss Edna Mode. There's a stitch back there. Some old, um, <clears throat> some old cups. Kind of Pocahontas and Pocahontas. And then we have a little Forky plush figure. And then we have this little caramel, like candy apple plush toy and then we have some more mugs you have this set of mugs that go like almost makes a full picture together there's another mickey mug and then over here we have a winnie the pooh snow globe that plays the winnie the pooh song and then they had a salad fork and spoon set with mickey on it I really like these lamps. They are like made out of popsicles and it's like, it's like a, a popsicle staircase. And then they had some of the old VHS tapes that were never opened in there. And then down here, they have these old like Kellogg's Donald toys. Over in this case, they had some, I guess if you're really into like science, they have all these different like animal skulls that you can have as a little collection for yourself. And some pretty cool ones in here. So they had a few different interesting things there, but nothing too crazy. Uh, before I head to the second antique shop, that's a little bit down the street, I'm going to probably go grab a snack at the coffee shop that's a few buildings down, and then I'll make my way down to the other store. So I decided to get an orange cranberry muffin. 
Okay, so now we are in the second antique shop. And we'll see what we can find. And then and here's Mrs. Potts, a little Lennox figure. And here's a little vintage Mickey camera. So call the Life Insurance Quote Line right now for free pricing information. There's a little Mickey and Minnie and a little car knickknack. It's a Mickey. He said he lost his nose. Another over 15 bucks for that. They have a little Bambi Lennox in here for $60. That is one big German Stein. I really found this picture to be very interesting. How you doing, Donald? This is a really cool picture. They get to that one for sale, and then they have that one. And each will be 300 or you can buy both for 500 And then we'll head over to the third antique shop to see what they have inside. Nothing too interesting on the first floor, so let's make our way to the second floor. It's pretty cool, the little wall sculpture kind of thing. It's made out of wire and he's surfing. For... 395 bucks. I think this painting would be like so great for a kid's room. It's so bright. Probably one of the truest things. Too many cooks make the soup too salty. I 100% agree. And let's see, this is a little McDonald's toy from Oliver and Company. And for four bucks, you kind of get something from Oliver and Company, which is kind of a a rare and forgotten Disney movie. Back down the squeaky stairs. So there wasn't too much in the antique shops here in Point today. So now I'm walking back to the car and we'll drive down to the boardwalk. So it's completely empty here at the boardwalk. You know, in a few months, this place is going to be packed as spring is right around the corner. And there's the fun house. I haven't been in there in quite a few years now. An aquarium, here we come. So here at the aquarium, you can adopt an animal. And you can get a little plush. It'll be $75. This is everything that comes included with it. And then these are different feeding times that they have daily. And then when you first come in, there's a nice tank filled with a bunch of jellyfish. sea turtle and then they have some sharks <laughs> what do they have in here a frog oh there it is There's the little guy sleeping. There's all the little crayfish in there. Oh. Where oh, the poisonous and dark frogs. I used to have a bunch of these little toys when I was younger of these. Some more, the larger fish. 
a shark back there. Hello. The clownfish. I find these fish to look so cool and scary at like, the same time, but I really like the uh, their design on their scales and their fins. They just look so unique. seals which I'll be attending their feeding that's coming up soon upstairs and they have this TV that's talking about the seals that are in the enclosure and back here a little hard to see but there's a little little owl Now we're over at the penguin exhibit. This little guy just keeps swimming up and down the whole time. Oh, well, goodbye. And here's the rest of the large penguin family. They're all hanging out. You know, it's every time I've come here, I've never really seen them this close up to the glass. Normally they're a little bit further back in their enclosure. And this one really wants to be front and center on the camera. What's up there, buddy? Now we're up at the, the seals feeding. You're teaching them behaviors, not tricks. Many people do tricks of magicians and Patrick Mahomes. They give them, uh, they teach them to clear their teeth, roll over, so they can do things with them easily, like brush their teeth, so the vet can check their fins and swelling. So all these maneuvers have a purpose. <laughs> and that's the behavior. When they do something good, we give them a fish, and praise them. We don't punish them, but they don't do it. We just wait till the next feeding to try again. And they both are very bright. Oh, Squid. Did you see the high five? High five. Yes, a little pup trying to cross the police stop traffic and get it across the street. Now Lucy is 34, she'll be 34 next month. Milani's only six. She was found in the beach in Monterey, California. She was also blind. She was born with water on the brain. Sandy over here is like the the story behind both of the seals that are currently at the Jenkinson's Aquarium. And this one's back to swimming up and down again. There he goes. Just keep swimming, buddy. Just keep on swimming. So I think that's going to wrap up our trip today in Point Pleasant. Um, it was a great day. I got to see a lot of the uh, different animals they have in their exhibits there at the aquarium. 
Um, the only one that I didn't get to see were the pygmy marmosets that were also referred to as like the finger monkeys. Uh, they're doing some renovation so their section where they keep them is off limits until they fix it up for the public for the summer. Um, but overall I thought it was a great trip here today in point. And until next time.